Every Monday at this time, we go back to Thursday night. Every NFL game can be described in three words. Here we go. Steelers-Browns out of control. That's the story of the season. Miles Garrett is Cleveland. Cleveland is Miles Garrett. Blame whoever you want. Miles Garrett's out for the year, suspended indefinitely, and they're going to need him, their best defensive lineman against Lamar Jackson later and Kyler Murray, and they won't have him. This, to me, is the irony of the Browns' season. What we've said all year about Miles Garrett is what we've said all year about the Browns. Man, they're talented. Man, they're undisciplined. And I think this eventually is their undoing, and they won't make the playoffs. They'll miss Miles Garrett. Cowboys-Lions, Dax team now. First Cowboy to pass for 3,000 yards in the first 10 games of a season. He's absolutely getting better. It's funny. We, we understand that basketball players get better. You know, they come into a sport and you're like, yeah, they grow. With quarterbacks, we're like, all right, this is what he is. No, not really. He's getting better. You can watch him at the line of scrimmage. Leads the NFL passing yards, 3,200. Uh, season high yesterday, 404 passing yards. I mean, look at that throw right there. Sorry for our radio audience. That's like a big-time throw. That's like a 25-yard dart down the field. He's really playing well, and he's got the leadership stuff I love. Falcons-Panthers. Got Cam's number. Yeah, Kyle Allen. He's got nine picks in four games. You know, I said a couple weeks ago, he feels like a transition piece, but I watched the Green Bay game, and I watched this yesterday. You know, he's, this is why he didn't play a ton in college. He's a good distributor. He's got some strengths. Uh, but Carolina's got way too good of players to get come home and get destroyed by Atlanta. And uh, let's see what they do with Cam Newton. It should be noted, Cam Newton in the current quarterback market is a bargain. He's making like $18 million a year. Mahomes is going to sign for 40 <laughs> So you don't have to. I don't love Cam, but at that price, uh, Cam's worth 18 million, no question in this league. Jags, Colts, first place, Colts, AFC South. They're three and zero in division. Uh, I think they're very well coached. Uh, Jacoby Brissett is back. I don't feel you get the roller coaster you do with the Texans. So you know the Colts have always owned Tennessee. This is a very good team. I think their ceiling's low, but they're in a position now. Jacoby Brissett, rest of the way schedule I think works in their favor. Texans Ravens, W O W. Wow, uh, six straight wins for Baltimore. Thirty-four points a game. Biggest loss of Deshaun Watson's career. So we've seen Baltimore uh, unravel Seattle in Seattle, dominate New England at home. And this puppy was over in about eight minutes. So, and it's not just a Lamar story. It's a defensive story. He th- That's a nice throw right there by Lamar. That was kind of an eye-opener. If, you, if your eyes weren't open against Belichick, your eyes had to be open there. Bills, Dolphins. Playoffs, I guess. And Buffalo 7-3. and three. And they're three games ahead of Cleveland. You start looking at the numbers here. I, I think the Raiders are far more captivating and I think Houston's better, but you know, you start lining it up here with Buffalo, and they don't turn the ball over. They've had one turnover since October 1st. They play good defense. They're well coached. They don't turn it over, and I think that recipe gets them into the playoffs. Broncos, Broncos Vikings still don't trust. And come on, Minnesota ran for 37 yards. They're 1-2 and two against teams currently that would be in the playoffs. They fell behind 20 nothing. I like the roster. It's... Kirk Cousins feels like the greatest statistical game manager in league history. That's how it feels to me. I just, well, we came back and won. You fell behind the Denver 20-0 at home. Come on. You you can't do that. Saints-Bucks, back on track. Speaking of turnovers, Saints kind of found their way yesterday. Went back to a little more of a power running game. Previous week, they drew Brees through 45 times. Kamara ran four times. The run-pass ratio was all messed up. Saints are actually, they're a power-running team. They don't throw the ball down the field. And yesterday, they they went back to what they sort of are, hand the ball to Kamara, make smart throws, get it to Michael Thomas. Jets, Redskins, only I watched. Sam Darnold was great, 121 passer rating. Listen, Darnold has a terrible throw every Sunday. One just awful throw. Back-to-back weeks, though, with a bad O-line, Sam Darnold's looked very, very strong. Cardinals, Niners, exciting but sloppy. Uh, Jimmy G had two picks. 
Uh, they fell behind 16 uh, nothing. Kyler Murray, second time in three weeks, does give San Francisco problems, but give Jimmy Garoppolo. Whitlock doesn't like him, but again, he engineered without George Kittle, a game-winning drive late. Uh, you got to give him credit for that. They came when it mattered. They delivered, but it was sloppy. Bengals Raiders, silver and back. Three straight wins. Derek Carr's completing over 72% of his throws. Gruden is conjoined with the fans. It kind of works. Josh Jacobs, Derek Carr, all their draft picks offensively work. Richie Incognito comes over. He works. Uh, It's a real thing. You can feel it. They got the Jets next. They'll win that game and have a four-game winning streak. Patriots-Eagles. Philly, not special. Eagles have failed to throw for over 200 yards in half of their games this year. Once Deshaun Jackson got hurt, they have no deep threat. Just Philly's got no explosive, dynamic playmakers on the outside because of the Deshaun Jackson injury. And you it's, you saw what you get with them on display. It's a lot of seven-yard curl patterns. Cross your fingers with Nelson Aguilar. Bears-Rams. Remember Todd Gurley? Yeah, 133 all-purpose yards. Offensive line on the interior played better. Um, listen, he doesn't look like the Todd Gurley of yesteryear. But he was good. He was effective. He's always been a good receiver. I thought Jared Goff had a little extra time. Didn't play great. They didn't have all their weapons. Robert Woods was out. Brandon Cooks was out. But it's a win. Chiefs Chargers tonight. Time to elevate. Mexico City, 7,200 feet in the air. Chargers went to Colorado for five days to train at 6,000 feet. Kansas City mad at the league did not. I like the Chargers with an upset win tonight. Kansas City's lost four of six. What do we say tomorrow if Mahomes loses? What do we say tomorrow if Patrick Mahomes loses? Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.